So let's get started with the installation of MS SQL 2019 on Microsoft Windows 2016 server. I have attached this MS SQL 2019 installer or the ISO to my system. Don't confuse by the name. I have just saved it for my reference. If you open it, you can see the setup here. Just double click on the setup. So you can see SQL Server 2019 Server Installation Center will open up. So you can also verify this is Microsoft SQL Server 2019. Just go if you want to check for the hardware and software requirement, you can click on to it. A documentation page will open up. For security documentation, you can see this. For release notes, you can see you can click on to this link. For system configuration checker, checker, you can click this link. But we are most interested in the installation. So on the left side, click on to the installation and select the new SQL Server standalone installation or add feature to existing installation. So if you have the MS SQL already installed on your server, you can click here and can add features. But here we are just installing the server for the first time. We'll click here. So now the setup page will come up. Under this, under the product key, it will ask what we want to have. If specify the uh, free edition. If we go by the developer edition, there will be no activation and there will be limited features available only for the developer. Now, if you have the license key, you can go with the evaluation or the express one. I'll just select express. But this express or evaluation will only be there for 180 days. So after 180 days, it will expire. So if I have the product key, I can select this and can enter the product key and can go with the installation. But right now I'm just going with the free edition. I want to just try all the features for MS SQL 2019. So for 180, day, 180 days expiry, expiration period, I'll just go with the express one. Just click on next. Now this is the license term I'll accept and go next. So this is the rule check in progress. It will check certain things. I don't want to get updates as of now. So I'll just don't click on to it and skip and press next. So it is installing some set of files. So now here this page is for the feature selection for the express. So what all feature I need to have in my MS SQL 2019 server. So either I can select, I'll just select the minimum one which are required by me. So I'll select the database engine server, SQL server application. I will not go with the machine learning here. Then I'll go full text. I'll not go with polybase. And then I'll select this, these all shared features I'll select. So I'm selecting all those stuffs, all those features which actually needed for my project or for my requirements. So you can see the instance root directory, the shared feature directory, the shared feature directory x84. So you can change it accordingly. If you press here, you can change it accordingly as per your needs. But right now I'll just make sure that everything is everything is kept as it is. I'm not touching anything here. So just give next. So it is loading up, the page is loading up. So here the name instance means I can give what all, what the, whatever name I want to give. So I'll just give by the default instance. I'm just taking everything by default. So my if I give the default instance, the instance name will be MS SQL Server. Instance ID I can change, but I'm not changing anything. I, I will click next. So just make sure that you have the SQL Server directory in this location. So C program files, Microsoft SQL Server, and then with the instance ID. Hit next. I'm keeping everything by default here. I'm not changing anything. So this is for the demonstration purpose. So default is good. Now the next page is the server, server configuration. So the SQL Server database is automatic. This all things are automatic and server SQL Server browser. I'll just make it automatic only. And then coalition page. I'm not touching it. 
and we'll give next. So here the server configure under the database engine configuration we have the server configuration. So if you are connecting to the server once the setup is done, so there will be some authentication mode. So either you can have the Windows authentication mode or you can have the mix mode. That is the SQL Server authentication and the Windows authentication. So window, Windows authentication means that the login for your Windows Server and SQL Server authentication means that the server can be up with the Windows authentication as well as the password that you set. So will so the SQL Server administration administrator account will be SA. So normally for the Windows Server we have administrator. For the SQL Server ad system administrator we have the SA account. So we'll give the password. So this password we are setting it for the SQL Server Administrator. We'll add the current user, or you can use the you can use you can add the user of your choice. But right now I'm just going by the default. Specify the SQL Server Administrators. So I'm just giving the administrator of my Windows only. Or you can create some dummy user and can add as an administrator. Right now everything is by default. Just hit next. Now here you can verify you know, what all product you are, what all features or instance configuration you are giving or the memory it is taking. So it's just giving you the information, nothing else. Just hit install. So now the installation is in progress. So it will slowly install all the required softwares for the SQL Server 2019 setup in your server. I'll just pause my video and we'll meet once this installation is complete. So now we can see that the installation is completed and uh, it will just give the complete status. We can check that everything has succeeded. So no fa failures are observed. And the details we can see install successfully. Install successful. We'll just close this. And if we want to connect this to the server, we connect SQL Server, we need the server management tools. So we'll click here. Again, we'll go to the in server installation center and click on to the install server management tool. So this will navigate us to the to the Microsoft page. I'll just expand it. So I am on the download SQL Server Management Studio page. Just scroll down a little bit. And there you can see download SSMS. Just click on to this. And now I'll just give run. I'm not going to save this. I'll go run. It will start installing it. Not installing it. It will start download it. Now you can see that the download for Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio has done. This page came up and it's asking us welcome click install to begin. We can change the location. I'll just keep it by default and click on install. So this will take some little time depending upon the internet speed as well as it will take some time. This is a big software. So I'll again pause this video and we'll come up next onto the page where the installation is done and then I'll we'll see how to connect uh, the server, the SQL server with this SQL server management studio. So now the installation for Microsoft SQL server management studio has done. So it requires the restart to install successfully. So we'll just click on to the restart and the server will restart. So I have given the restart option. I'll pause the video here. Now I have restarted my server and the server has came up. So I'll just open the studio MS SQL studio. So this is the management studio here. So 
So now it's loading up. So this is my SQL server. Uh, SQL Server Studio and uh, here I'll just connect to the server. So by default the server type is coming as database engine. I'll just uh, keep it as it is. My server name is coming here and I can have the authentication mode. So by default it is coming as Windows authentication. I can change it to the server authentication and can give the uh, login as SA and my password. So I'll just go with the Windows authentication only and we'll hit the connect button. So my management studio will start connecting to my server. So now you can see the server has been connected like it's in connecting mode. Now it has connected. And uh, I can just see the database. I can create the database. I can do whatever operation I just want to do on my SQL server. I can connect. I can disconnect. I can register. I can do whatever I want. So this is the way through which you can create your MS SQL server. You can install the MS SQL server on your Windows box. So in the demonstration, we have shown you how to install MS SQL 2019 on Windows Server 2016. Hope you liked the video. Please do subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.